hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today so today i'm going to be showing you the easiest way to make a pencil skirt trust me when i say it's easy because this is the easiest you can find out there so i'm going to be using this scuba fabric and this fabric is extremely stretchy and i have one yard for this tutorial so um i folded my fabric with the largest part of my body my lower body which happens to be my hip so on the waistline i'm going to mark the waist measurement divided by four my waist is 27 inches divided by four is 6.75 so i'll mark that on the waistline and from the waistline i'm going to mark eight inches downwards that is the position of my hip so on that point i'm going to insert a quarter of my my hip measurement which happens to be 8.5 inches okay so because i'm using an extremely stretchy fabric i am not going to add seam allowance to this project okay but if you are not using a stretchy fabric please go ahead and add your seam allowance okay so the length of this skirt is 27 inches so from the waistline i'm going to mark 27 inches downwards and i'm going to mark one inch for hem allowance all right so on the hip line i have 8.5 inches which is my hip measurement so on the hem line i'm going to remove one inch from that measurement all right meaning i'm marking 7.5 inches on the hem line of the skirt okay so i'm going to connect the hip to the hem line measurement and then i'm going to connect to the waistline measurement using my straight ruler after that is done this is what i have so i'm just going ahead to cut this out so i use that first panel to cut out the second panel making the front and the back panels of the skirt okay so after cutting the two panels this is what i have so as you can see the two panels are exactly the same in size that is because we are not adding any zipper to this skirt okay so what i want to do is to pick one of the patterns which would be my front pattern okay so this part i am holding now is going to be my front so on the center after folding it together i marked one inch downwards and i'm going to connect it in a slant manner to the edge of the pattern like this so i'm going to cut that out so you do this because you want the front panel of your skirt to sit properly when you wear it so you go down by half an inch it's lower than the back panel okay so as you can see on the waistline this is what we have it's kind of curved like this unlike the back that is straight you see how curved the front panel is all right so that is what you want to achieve so next i'm going to show you how i cut out my waistband for this waistband i want it to be one inch long and this i'm cutting 2.5 inches as it's opened like this so by the time i fold it i would have one inch so for the length of this dress i mean for the length of the waistband i'm using my exact waist measurement for the width i mean i'm using my exact waist measurement just like i used for the skirt remember i did not add any seam allowance for the skirt because my fabric is extremely stretchy so i'm doing the same to this one yeah so that is what i have once it's open this is what i have by the time i fold it in this is what i will have so i'm going to use about quarter inch to stitch this to the main fabric okay so those are my patterns i have the two patterns for the skirt and i have the um, waistband for the skirt all right so i'm going to remove the waistband and i'm going to place the front panel on the back panel facing them right sides together so i'm going to place them on each other like this align my fabric and then make a stitch at the sides so i'm going to close the side seams with about half an inch on each side of the skirt okay and when that is done i'm going to show you so after stitching the two sides open guys this is what i have so our skirt is almost ready 
almost ready okay so this is what i have so far as you can see it's already looking beautiful so the sides has been closed as you can see i've stitched closed the sides and i left the waistband hasn't been attached and i haven't hemmed it yet so this is the waistband okay so what I, I'm going to do is to put the waistband together like this and then make a stitch on it like so. Alright. By the time I do that and then I'm going to fold it inside like this. And then I'm going to attach it to the waist. Alright. So I'm going to make a stitch attaching the waistband to the waist like so. And then when I'm, I'm done doing that, I'll flip it over. So I'm just going to dramatize that and show you now. So like I said, I've already made the stitch on the waistband as you can see. So what I want to do is to flip it like so, concealing the wrong side. And I'm, I'm going to fold it like this. Okay. So what I'll do next is to grab it and then place it on the skirt like this right sides facing like so so after doing that i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and make a stitch all around with the waistband folded like this so i'm just going to keep going like so gradually and gently I'm going to attach the waistband to the main skirt of this project like so. Alright, so after doing that, I'm going to hem it. Remember, I added one inch for the hem allowance. Alright, and I'm going to come and show you the finished look of the skirt. So right here, you can see the waistband has been attached to the skirt. So here is the finished look. I can't get over how beautiful this skirt is it's very very beautiful and easy to make as you can see I finished up the hemline very nice and neat so this is the skirt from the back side this is very beautiful so if you have watched this video this far and you have not yet subscribed or given this video a thumbs up what are you waiting for please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share my videos with your friends and your loved ones i'm so grateful for your support thank you so much for watching this video till i see you in my next video bye